The Roman Dam in Spain, you've seen it. It's been in all the newspapers, on the news, on social media in the last few days. Because despite its 2,000 years, it still works. I liked the idea of making you understand what in reality you don't understand so much from the images. Because from this video that is going around, we see a real flood. I'll make you understand in a simple way. But first, allow me a second to remember all the victims that there were in Spain. Unfortunately, what happened is truly devastating. The number of victims has exceeded 220 and unfortunately the missing are as many as 2,000. So our thoughts go to the victims and all those who were involved. That said, to understand certain things you have to zoom out. That is, you have to see things from afar. This is Spain. Our dam is here in the red. So, when we talk about a dam, the first thing, and obviously if we talk about a dam, it means that there's a water course, there's a river. What is the river? Here it is. This one where you see the green part where there are the fields. In the center there is the river, from southwest to north northeast, okay? This is the course of the river, so the river flows from here to up. If we zoom in, you see, the dam is exactly this. Now, let's focus for a moment on the territory, on the morphology of the territory. Here in this green stretch, this green part, we have all the fields. It is a subflat area where the river, when it swells, obviously floods this whole part. If we go a little further north, that is, where the dam is, what happens? Here, here practically everything floods, and then where does the water go? It goes into this engraved valley. You see this is an engraved valley. Here the lithology changes, the rock changes, in fact here. Probably more clay here is a more competent rock. Here the river has literally dug an incision and passes through it. So imagine a flood here, what happens? All this part, let's say in green, okay, flatter floods and the water when it reaches the narrowing what happens that the speed increases and also increases the level of the river inside the incised valley because it is narrow. In short, here from a morphological point of view, you have a sort of funnel. At this point, right here, there's a risk. 2,000 years ago, the Romans, right here at the entrance of this incised valley, built a wall, a dam, which worked a few days ago in the sense that it went to contain the flood because upstream here practically everything was flooded so the water that we saw in the video is a small part of the water that was behind this wall and if there hadn't been the wall the dam wouldn't have contained it and therefore downstream there would probably have been much more damage many more problems so just to recap upstream of the dam that this here this is the wall it was all flooded and therefore the water ended up up in here. So this is the same point of view where the viral video was filmed. The water then came out from here and ended up where? What's over there? There's the valley. The engraved valley continues. Continuing, there it is. The whole carved valley. And then there's the little village which is here. A bit higher up fortunately. And then there's obviously the continuation of the river's course. Let's say that the function of this dam is to contain to contain the waters coming from the swelling of the river. Then it filled the upstream basin and slowly let the water flow downstream, avoiding disasters in the neighboring towns downstream. From the images we have seen, it is still very violent. That is, we feel this violence. But surely this violence is much more contained than it would have been if the ancient Roman dam had not existed. So even though it is 2,000 years old, this dam has done its duty. In reality, it was built not only for this, but also to accumulate water in this basin in order to have water available and for irrigation. Today, incredibly, as I already said, after 2,000 years, it was used in the event of a flood. That said, I hope that this video, even if short, has been useful to understand what we see around, and I will always see you here on Geopop, Everyday Science.